Hello everybody, this is Lorraine from Canada with a Verbling class for you. This class is at a real beginner level. So if you are new to taking English classes, this is a good one. The class will be basic information and the pace will be very slow. And so we're going to be learning about some prepositions of place. And we'll say hello to Oscar. How are you today, Oscar? Uh, hi, teacher. I'm fine. Good. Good to see you again. Good to see you. I missed you on Friday. <laughs> Did you take I went, a holiday? <laughs> yes. Yes, Daniel. See, Daniel, she danced merengue. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I went to visit some relatives. Oh, very nice. That's yeah. good. Good to see you in class today. Thanks. Hi, Salvatore. How are you today? Hi, Loren. I'm fine. Thank you. And good. You? I'm very How good. You? Thank you. I'm very nice good. To nice to see you again. Good to see you too. Welcome to class. Thank you, and teacher. We have Anna. Hello, Anna. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? Hi, Lorraine. It's my first class with you. Yes, well, welcome to the class. Thank where, you. Where are you from, Anna? I'm from Colombia. From Colombia, very nice. Yes. Is this a picture of you and your dog? Yes, my pet. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Teseo. Teseo? T E oh. uh, T E S O. No, sorry. T E S A O. Teseo. Okay. T. T. Yes. Very good. Very nice dog. What kind of dog is he? Uh, sorry, kind. Uh, <laughs> See, kind. Ma, like poodle, no. Uh, German okay. shepherd. Tipo, classy. Okay, uh, no. <laughs> he, 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 she, he don't, don't type. <laughs> ah, okay, so. Uh, in this, in my country, uh, we say uh, criollo. Okay. In English, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he is a mongrel. Mongrel. A mongrel. Yes. Or we might call him a uh, Heinz fifty-seven because Heinz is a type of salsa, and oh. it has fifty-seven ingredients. Wow. So, <laughs> So we say the dog has 57 ingredients. He's oh, okay. a mongrel. Heinz okay. 57. Good. I found well, I found in the street. Ah yes, street dog. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have Omar with us. Hello, Omar. Another puppy. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Is this your puppy? Yes, yeah, my puppy. It's it's a basset. They don't grow too much. A little. He's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, a basset hound. Yes. Yeah. Only <laughs> the only the ears grow. <laughs> they almost. Right. Touch yeah, it's them. really long <laughs> ears. Very short Short-tick legs. Long. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Omar. Where are you from? Um, Bolivia. Bolivia. Okay. Very yeah. nice. Lots of South America today. Very good. <laughs> and Juan, how are you today, Juan? Juan, are you there? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, Juan, we can't hear you yet, so maybe there is a problem with your microphone. Okay, and Ishmael, hi, welcome. Thank you, teacher, hi. Hi, where are you from, Ishmael? I am connecting from Turkey. From Turkey, okay, very good. It sounds like you have children. Yes, <laughs> I have one son, but six I'm years old, and six years. Oh. he's playing with uh, neighbor uh, ah, girlfriend. Neighbor. Okay, very good. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. 
And hi, Randy. How are you today? Hi. I'm fine. And you? How are you? I'm very good. Very good. Nice to see you again. Yeah, me too. And we just need to say hello to Juan here. Juan, is your microphone working now? Hi. Okay, you. I can hear you a little bit. Can Hi. you make it louder? Hello? Okay. I need everybody else to please have their microphone on mute so that we have a quiet classroom. Juan, are you there? Hi. Ah, there he is. Yay. Finally. <laughs> Hi, welcome to class. Excellent. Okay, very good. I think we'll get started with the material. I just wanted, well, maybe we'll be okay with the worksheet. I have posted a worksheet in Verbling chat. You will need this worksheet. It is also in uh, Google Drive. I was going to try getting the, um, the links and putting them in the chat. Give me one moment here, see if I can get them. Um, oh, there they are. Okay. No. Okay. Does uh, do do you people know how to use Google Drive? Uh, Anna, can you use Google Drive? Do you know how? Yes, I use Google Drive. Okay. So if everybody clicks on the icon that is a triangle, you will uh, go into. Um, I'm going to create a shared note with you. Okay. When you go into Google Drive, do you see two uh, documents? One called Picture One and Picture Two, all in the home. Picture One, Picture Two. Do people see it? Yes. Yes, okay. I do. Okay, so we're going to start with picture one, picture A, uh, no, picture one. Uh, you should see the picture of a kitchen with a lady and, well, there is a lot of things going on <laughs> in the picture. And download this picture from the drive because we will need to use it. Let me know if you cannot do it. I will try to share them another way. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh, here we go. I'm going to try to put them into uh, Google Drive or um, Google Chat as well. Okay, there's one. And one moment, I will put the other one in as well. I'm still learning how to do this myself. <laughs> okay. All right, so these are the two documents you need for this lesson. Oh, while I was gone, some new people showed up. We have um, Renata. Hello, welcome. Hello, Lorraine. Welcome to the class. 
Thank you. Where are you from? Brazil. Repeat, from please. Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, and Francesc. Francesc, hello. Hello. Did I pronounce your name correctly? Fran Francesc. Francesc. Where are you from, Francesc? I am from Spain. From Spain. Okay. Lots of Spanish speakers today. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, please make sure that you have um, the picture one up for now. This is what we will use. And I will share my screen with you as well. So, where my icon was, it should be a gray screen that says, All in the Home. If you can't see it, please let me know. Okay. I trust everybody can see it. So, what you need to do first is take a look at the picture. You will see many things in the picture. They have numbers. We are going to make sentences based on the pictures. So, for instance, the first one, we have all of these prepositions in green that we are going to put on the correct line. The first one is, the woman is at the door. And that is picture number three. If you cannot see that, please let me know. Okay, so let's start with Anna. The next sentence, can you read it for me, please? Anna, unmute your microphone. Sorry. There we go. That's okay. The child is behind the sink. The okay. number is uh, f f four. four. Okay. Does everybody agree that the child is behind the sink? No. 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 Okay. So and where is the child? Sorry, under. Under, exactly. Under. Very good. Under the sink. Yes, and sorry. Yes, the picture is number four. Good. All right. No problem. Uh, Francesc, the next oh. sentence, the dog. The mm -hmm. little dog? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, the dog is uh, under the, uh, uh, beside the ch child. Okay. Beside is a good word, and I would use it. But in this exercise, they have a phrase that means beside. Can you mm. find it? A phrase that means beside. Mm -hmm, because uh, they don't close have beside. To, close to the child. The dog uh -huh. is close to the child. Do you see the, um, the prepositions in green in this box? One oh, of okay. these. Okay, yeah, one of these. Yeah. Okay. Yes, next to the child. Yes, next to the child or beside the child. I agree. Okay. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Excellent. I. Not a problem. Um, what number is that picture? Uh, it's the number five picture. Okay. I think. Good. Yeah. Or number right. six. I don't know. Number five was number correct. Number five. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay, Ismail, the next one, please. The cat is behind the fridge. Yes, the cat is behind the fridge. Very good. And the number of that part of the picture? Ishmael, what number was that? Number six. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Juan, the next one, please. The plates are in the sink, number yes. one. Yes, good. 
plates are in the sink. Very good. Omar. Okay. Um, the sausage pans are on the stove. Okay. That word is saucepans. Say saucepans. Saucepans. Very good. They're on the stove. And what number? Oops. I've already given it number one. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Wait a minute. The saucepans are on the stove. What number is the picture? Um, two. Okay. Very good. All right. Oscar, the next one. Yes. The, the chair is... The chair is... Mm, the chair is... In front of... You know what, Oscar? I chose that one too when I did this exercise. But it is not the best answer for this. We need that one for something else. Ah, yes, 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 yes. excuse me, excuse That's me. Okay. The, chair, the chair is, is near, near the stop. Mm, I think there was another one. Some of these could be used, but we need them sometimes for something front. else. Front. No, we said in front you really need for something else. So the opposite. chair is by the stove. It's not opposite the stove. Ah, by. It's by the stove. Ah. It means it's very close. Ah, it's by yeah, the same. Okay. And what, what number was that? Yes, uh, no, no, number seven. Okay, good. All right, Randy, the next one. The tea towel is is near the stove. Yes, and the number? Number nine. Good. Okay, and uh, Renata, the next one, please. Yes, uh, the food is in the fridge. Okay. Or, or Take a in look front at, of. Yeah, in front from, of. Yes. Okay. <laughs> because it looks like the door opened and everything fell out. Yes. Yes. So the food is in front of the fridge. And what number was that? Eight. Okay, very good. And um, Salvatore? The yes. next one. The woman, the woman is near the child. Well, we've used near. There is only one preposition left. So, which one is not used yet? Mm. Opposite. Yes, opposite. The woman is opposite the child. If you look in the picture, on the floor there is a line that is between the woman and the child. They are at opposite ends of the line. And that okay. one is what number? Number three. I don't think it's three. We've already ah, got ten. three for woman. Ten, yes, good. Ten. Okay. Are there any questions about these prepositions? Uh, sorry, uh, yes. Lorraine, I have a mm -hmm. question. Uh, with the chair is by the stove. Yes. I I don't understand. Good by. When when you use by. Yes. I... Okay. The this. Um, preposition means that something is close to something. It is very similar to near. Yes. They are very similar. If you used by or near, they would both be correct. So, similar to near. Yes. So the tea towel is near the stove. We could say the tea towel is by the stove. 
Okay. You could say the chair is near the stove. They are very similar. Yes. But you, you can see both the chair and the tea towel are very close to the stove. Yes. Okay, so you can use those two interchangeably. Okay. Okay. That, does that help? Yes, yes, okay. Okay. Okay, good. Any other questions? Excellent. Okay, so let's see if we can figure out a good preposition for each of these sentences. It is possible that you will find a preposition that is correct but different from what I use because just like by and near some of them are very close. So let's start with um, Juan. Number one, can you read the sentence and use a preposition? I'll wait for you at the bus stop. Exactly. I'll wait for you at the bus stop. Very good. And um, Omar, the next one. He's got the secret document by his case. Okay, if it's by his case, it means that it is close to his case, and case means briefcase. Oh, okay. Um, so he's got the secret document. Um, In from his case? Just in his case. In his it case. means they're inside. He's got the secret documents. You could say in his case, or you could say inside his case. Both would be correct. Okay. All right, I'm just going to... Um, So in Verbling chat, I have put that in. in and inside. Very close. Pretty much the same. All right. And let's see. Let's go to uh, Ismail. Can you make, do the next one? Yeah. Make sure that you sit near me at the concert so that we can talk to each other. Very good. What else? Oh, I do have the other one. Next to, beside, near, all by. of those. You could even use by. Near. Yeah. Near, by, near. next to, beside. All of those words would be correct in this case. Okay. By your thought? I'm sorry, um, Oscar, repeat. Uh, uh. By also? By, yes. yes. Make sure that you sit by me at the concert. Make sure that you sit near me at the concert, next to or beside. Lots of choices there. Okay. Uh, so, Oscar, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Put the place on the table, will you? Then we can eat. Yes, on the table. And that is really the only preposition you can use to put something on something. Uh, teacher, excuse me. Yes. Uh, will you is like say uh, is in tech? It is a question tag. Will you? Yes, yes. And, uh, I understand, okay. but but is the same is the same say say isn't it instead of will you? Um, what is the word? I'm sorry, Oscar. I am not hearing the word clearly. 
Can you write it in Verbling chat? Oscar? Yes, yes, uh, yes. A moment, please. Yeah, <laughs> okay, a moment, please. all right. No working cha for me, it's verbally. Um, Oscar, don't use a question mark because verbling chat will not let you, it, it won't come up. Just do the word without any punctuation. Yes. Isn't it? Oh, isn't it? Is it off oh, when you okay. Um, no. no, isn't it would not work there because uh, you're asking someone to do something. I see. It. So you could say, you could turn this around and say, will you please put the plates on the table? I understand. Okay. Teacher. Okay, good. And so next we have uh, Francesc. Can you do the next one? Okay. Please? This flat has so little storage space that I have to keep my suitcases under the bed. Under the bed. Good. And that's mm, another word you could use there is beneath. I'll beneath. Put it in, yeah, I'll put it in verbling okay. chat. Beneath the bed means the same as under. Beneath and okay. under. Okay. So with the little girl under the sink, you could also say she is beneath the sink. All right. And oh boy. The next one is for Randy, please. Um, do you know Geraldine? Yes, she lives She lives in front of me, just on the other side of the road. Okay, so if it's on the other side of the road, you could use in front of me, but it is not common. There is another expression that's better. Because she lives on one side of the road, you live on the other side of the road. So opposite. you live opposite each other. Yes. She lives opposite me, just on the other side of the road. Good. Um, Anna. Can you do the next one, please? Don't turn round. There is something something horrible behind you. Yes. I don't know. If I had something horrible behind me, I would want to face it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it behind me. But you are correct. That's, that's just right. And uh, Salvatore, the last one, please. Leave, uh, leave the parcel uh, um, near the door. I'll pick it up on my way. Okay, near would work. But what is more common in English in this case is by. Leave by. the parcel by the door. But near the door or next to the door, they would all work. There are many things to use when we describe something being um, close to something else. So, beside, by, next to, near. Okay. Are there any questions about these sentences and prepositions? All right. So, since we're talking all about the home, we have a safety leaflet. This is called either a leaflet or um, um, 
a folder. Sometimes we call it a folder, but it's uh, it folds into three pieces normally. If you actually see one, okay. So um, we have a okay. So Omar, you asked a question um, in the chat. Can we use in front of? What did you mean? Um, like in the last in the last exercise. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go back to it. Uh, leave the parcel. Uh, it was something like that. Uh, we can use in front of the door. No, because if you leave it in front of the door, then it is right where you will walk through. And so you'll open the door and trip on it. <laughs> so <laughs> they mean to leave it beside the door, not in the middle, in the front, but beside. Okay. okay. It's not to say that at some point, if you wanted something to be in front of the door, then that's what you would say. But typically, you leave it beside the door. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's start with Salvatore. Can you please um, read the first page, starting with the red words? Ok. Safety in the home. Tips you should always make sure that your home is safe. Follow these simple guidelines. Ok, very good. Now, when you are saying words that have an H on the front, you need to pronounce it. So, this is home. Can you try that? Home. Yes, home. good. Home. Very good. Thank you. Dear. All right. Uh, I'm trying to remember everybody's name, not doing a good job. <laughs> Renata, can you read the first do that we have yes. here? Um, put a fire guard on an open fire. Okay, good. So a fire guard is something to keep the sparks from coming off the fire. That's good. Uh, Randy, the next one, please. Uh, keep tools and other sharp objects uh, in a cupboard. Yes, in a cupboard. Good. Inside. Very good. Uh, Oscar, the next one. Key medicines near closed doors. Okay, in this case, we're by. not not by or near. Where it isn't beside the um, closed doors. In this case, we want to keep medicines inside a medicine cabinet. So when you have closed doors, you uh, can't see the medicine. I understand, yes. So what would you put here? Yes. In. Key medicine in. Okay. Closed if doors? Not in closed doors, but once you have the doors clo cl closed, where are the medicines? In thought. They're inside, but they are also, are they in front of the closed doors? Are they in front of the closed doors? In front? What is the opposite of in front of? Ah, in... The opposite. Uh, beside? Behind. Behind, behind. Behind closed behind. doors. Yes, yes, I see it. Thanks, teacher. So when something is behind a closed door, you can't see it. So we want to keep the medicines away from children. You keep them behind uh, so closed doors. It's dangerous. It's dangerous for children. Yes. Uh. Lorraine. Yes. Uh, can I say into? 
Well, if you look at the uh, sentence above it, it's keep tools and other sharp objects in a cupboard or inside a cupboard. Okay. Put them into the cupboard. It is, um, it is a command. Put them into the cupboard. But keep them in a cupboard. So it depends on how the sentence is structured. Is it a command? Then you say, put them into the cupboard. Is it just a suggestion? Keep it in a cupboard. OK. OK? Thank you. OK. Uh, I've forgotten who I'm at. I think it's um, fun. Can everybody mute microphones because we have a lot of noise coming from somewhere. <laughs> a lot of noise. Yes, a lot of noise. Okay, so Juan, can you do the next one, please? Encourage your children to keep their toys in a toy box? Yes, in a toy box. Very good. And... Um, Ismail, the next one. Keep a fire extinguisher by the stove. Okay. By the stove, what other words could we use for that? Anyone? Near the stove. Near the stove. Anything else? Next to. Next to the stove. Beside the stove. All of those will work. Good. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the things that we, uh, under the don'ts, these are things not to do, uh, starting with uh, Francesc. Okay, uh, don't, don't put vases of flowers on the television. Yes, don't put them on the television. Good. Uh, Anna, the next one. Hang clothes uh, opposite a fire or an electric heater. Um, possibly, but if it is opposite the heater or fire, it probably won't be too much of a problem. What other? Mm, this is getting too close. So, what were the prepositions for being close? No, I don't know what were a uh, opposite. Uh, no. Behind? No, behind. No. Probably behind. not behind. What oh. were the words we used? We had many words that means close to something. Hang clothes in front of a fire? Mm, no. Again. <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay. Anybody have ideas of what we could put here? Anyone in the class can help Anna? I think that over, is over. Over? A fire. Awesome. Yeah. We haven't used over, but hanging clothes over a fire is probably not a good idea, and that works. What else? Uh, maybe we can use mm -hmm. hang clothes in front of a fire or an electric heater because it's the thing that you can do it. Okay, so in front of, possibly. Near. Near. In front of, near, beside. Yes. <laughs> okay. All of those words, any of them will do. Um, the idea here is that Don't. if you get, yeah, if you if they get too close, they're going to burn. So we don't want them near the fire. So don't hang clothes near a fire or in front of a fire or over a fire. Any of those words would work. Okay. Far from, away um, from. Yes, that is a do. Hang clothes away from all fires or heaters. 
but we are in the don't column. Don't hang clothes in front of a fire or beside a fire. <laughs> okay? Okay. All right, good. Uh, Salvatore, mm, the next one, please. Okay. Uh, run electrical wires on a carpet. In this case, it isn't on a carpet. If they are on the carpet, you can see them. But we don't run electrical wires where we can't see them. So what would be the word we need for a carpet? Not on it. Oscar's whispering the answer to you. <laughs> Did you hear it, Salvatore? No, I don't hear. Okay. He said under, under a carpet. It is dangerous to run electrical wires under a carpet. So you should never do that. All right. Um, <laughs> Renata. Yes. The next oh, one. That's a difficult one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> stand by chairs or stools? Okay. No. I mean, if you're standing by a chair, it means you're standing beside a chair. And you need to stand beside a chair if you want to sit down. So I don't think standing by a chair is dangerous. What would be dangerous, though? Oh. If you stand. Oh, I don't know. Stand away. <laughs> not, not away. Again, this is a don't. Don't do yes. this. Don't do no. this. Don't stand. Next? No, no, no. Oh. Can anyone help her? Um, on, uh, yeah. Don't stand uh, on uh, a chair. Oh, okay. Okay. A chair is not a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stand on chairs. How many of us stand on chairs to reach something? I do. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> okay. Randy, the next one, please. Don't leave sharp knives. Mm. Uh, on the work surfaces in the kitchen. Yeah, on again. Don't leave them on the work surfaces because somebody might cut themselves with it. Okay. Are there any questions about these safety rules? All right. So, we're going to look at the second picture now that I posted in a group chat. Okay, it is of somebody's bedroom. And if you can make the picture large enough so you can see everything that is in the room. Now, Sometimes it's hard to tell what they are, but we will try our best. So, uh, I have so many windows open now, I'm getting lost. Okay. Uh, where are we at? Well, let's start with Randy. There are a whole bunch of things in the room, Randy. Can you tell me one thing? Actually, we're going to... Uh, I will write them in the um, Google chat as we find them and because we'll find them in a different order than what I have for my uh, screen share. So what's one thing you see, Randy, in the picture? An item. Okay. Um... Uh, 
Uh, so I can see uh, I can see a knife. Okay, a knife. Uh, good. That's fine. Just one. That's good. Okay. All right. We have a knife. Oscar, what else do you see? Yeah. Mm. Nice. I don't know name in English. <laughs> what is it in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> it's mm, olla. Olla. Does anybody know what an olla is? Pot. Okay. Um, where do you see it, Oscar? Uh, 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 teacher, excuse me. The picture is uh, all the in the form. The, the picture, picture of is of a, a, a of a bedroom. Picture A of a bedroom. Uh, picture, a, picture A. Yes, picture A. So we have a knife. And what else? What is inside the wardrobe? The cupboard. What is in the cupboard? Do you see anything in the cupboard? In the cupboard. Is cupboard. A box? The, the box? Box? I don't think that I see a box there. Yes. Okay. What about, do you see the chair, Oscar? What is at the bottom of the chair? What do you see? Uh, uh, the uh, stove is... is mm. No, no. Oscar, you should be in a picture that shows a bedroom. Ah, yeah, I see. I was last teacher. I'm sorry. Okay, in the bedroom we have. <laughs> yes, yes, I see. Mm, mm, yes, this mm, I see. the balls and and the balls mm, are on the floor. Books. Box. Is that what box? Box. I yes. don't see a box. Do you mean this thing that says top secret? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I, 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 there is a camera. Camera. Okay, there is a camera. Yes, the there camera. is. Yes, there beside is chairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have to say where it is just yet. Omar, what do you see in the picture? Um. I see. Um, I don't see well, but on the bottom of the chair is a uh, some kind like a book, a book. But I don't. I don't. Ah, uh, it's pass. Passport. 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 Ah, it's a passport. Yes, passport. Okay, good. Passport <laughs> Racha. All right, um, Juan. What do you see? There are um, there are um, a knife on the closet. Yes, we've got knife already. Um, we've got a knife, a camera, a passport. What else? There are TV set. No, there are TV on the um, table. Uh, yes, but oh, that's interesting. It's not on this one. I th think 
that is supposed to be a clock. <laughs> a clock? Yeah. In I I had two pictures and one a clock. Uh, yeah, that's supposed to be a clock. That doesn't look like a clock, I agree, but it's supposed to be a clock. <laughs> okay. Um, Ishmael, what do you see? Well, I see some uh, flight tickets on the yes. table. Yes, plane tickets. Good. And Francesc, what do you see? Uh, there is a gun. Ah, oh, yes, the gun. Inside the cupboard. Okay. And Anna, what do you see? Um, I see a lamp on the table. Okay, the lamp belongs to the room. These are things that don't really belong to the room. So they are mostly on the floor. Okay, uh, on the floor I see a book called Russian. Okay, so that is a Russian dictionary. Ah, okay. Okay, and uh, Salvatore, do you see anything else? Yes. Uh, I can see on the floor uh, a, top se a book, Top Secret. Right, so Top Secret Documents. Okay, and the one last thing that's on the floor, can anybody guess what it is? It's not a very good picture of it. I had to look it up. The Maybe other, other. So money. Yes. Money. Yes. money. 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 Oh, yeah. money. Money on the floor. Yeah, money. Beside baby. Show me the money. Okay, so we have all of these different things. Uh, Randy, I want you to tell me where the knife is. Okay, using the prepositions that we have learned, what would we say for knife? Mm, okay. I think the knife is um, is above the shelf. Okay, um, we don't say above the shelf, and it is, um, mm. something that we have learned today. One of the words we have been practicing today. Is on the shelf. Okay, so it's actually that is a wardrobe. A wardrobe is what that wardrobe. Is. Oh, okay. That is where you keep clothing. You could say it is a closet, but a closet is usually built into the house. This is a piece of furniture. It's called a wardrobe. wardrobe. So it's on top of the wardrobe on top. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, good. Um, Oscar, where is the gun? The gun. The gun. I don't know. Can you I find the gun the... in the picture? The gun. I don't know. The means. You don't know what a gun is? Mm, a moment, teacher. Ah! <laughs> pa, 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 pa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you got it. Yes. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Uh, the picture, ah, yes, in cross, yes, okay, the in gun, top cross. Okay, the gun is? The gun is 
Intoclox or okay. Into uh, wardrobe. wardrobe. In wardrobe, yes. The gun okay. is in the wardrobe. In Very the good. Wardrobe. Good. Okay. Um, Omar, the next one. Uh, passport. Mm -hmm. Um, the passport is on the bottom of the chair. Okay, so you or could just say on, on on the chair. Yes, the passport is on the chair. Good. Okay, Juan, what? Are, where are the plane tickets? Juan. Unmute your microphone, Juan. What? <laughs> Where are the plane tickets? Um, the plane tickets are under the table. Okay, they're under the table. And is there anything else that you can say to describe where they are? There are. Mm, they are by the table? No, you were right. They're under the table. On the what? floor. Yeah, on they're the, on, on the floor. floor. So you would say the plane tickets are on the floor under the table. And that okay. describes to somebody exactly where to go to find the plane tickets. On the floor, under the table. Good. And um, Francesc? Where is the top secret file? Okay. Oh, Francesc is gone. Ismail, sorry. The top secret file is on the floor in front of the cupboard. Good. Okay. Exactly right. It's um, on the floor in front of the cupboard. Very nice. Okay, Anna, where is the Russian dictionary? Okay, the Russian dictionary, it's on the floor near the bed. Near the bed. Very good. Okay. Uh, Salvatore, where is the camera? The cam Sorry, the camera is under the chair. Okay, but is there any anything else that you can use to describe where the camera is? What is the camera sitting on? It's on uh, the floor yes. under the yes. chair. Yes, on the floor under the chair. Very good. Uh, Renata, what about the money? Where is the money? Renata? Ismail, can you mute your microphone? Ooh, sorry, please? sorry. I'm That's here. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, the money is on the floor by the bed. Okay, now. The um, money is at one end of the bed. Do you know what end that is? A bed has exactly the same thing as we do. We have something at the top of our bodies and something at the bottom of our bodies. Yes, but I... What, what do we have at the top of our bodies? What do we call that? Oh, I don't know the name it is in English. Head. The head? Head. head. Right. Oh, yeah. oh, On our sorry, body, sorry. we have a yeah, head. head. What's at the bottom of our bodies? A feet. Yes. So we call this the foot of the bed. Yes. The money is on the floor near the foot of the bed or by the foot of the bed. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Great. Okay. And we're out of time, unfortunately. Um, does anybody very quickly want to say where the alarm clock is? The crazy looking alarm clock. Where is the alarm clock? On the table? Yes, the alarm clock is on the table. 
Very good. Okay, thank you so much for joining me for this class, and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank Take you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 B